Hi, my name is Eric, and I am a online t uh, consultant for iTutor, Hi, which is a my name is a, Eric, a company that I am a uh, hires people to teach uh, English for as a iTutor, second language to a, uh, a company Asian that students, mostly in China. Um, I've had English some in Taiwan. I'm, I'm sure there's others, but uh, those are the Asian only two countries I'm aware China, of that I've had uh, I've students had some from. But most of them have been. From, I'm sure there's uh, China. others, but uh, and today are I'm going to show you a few I've things if you work for iTutor from, that when I started, from, uh, I wish China. I had known how to and today access. I'm going to show um, it would have made my life a lot easier um, had I started, known some of these I wish things. I had known um, how to access. So yeah, I'm going to teach um, you these. I'm going to try and teach you these things. So let's get started. Um, had I known some the first thing you will want to do is access your Google Chrome. So go ahead and open up a new browser. The first thing you will want to do is access your uh, And Google after you Chrome, do that, so and open up a new if anyone browser. knows how to fix this, for some reason when I open up my Google Chrome, all of these tabs and after you open do up. That, I don't know why, but anyone knows how to it's fix really this. annoying, for some reason when I, open I just up my exit them. Chrome, knows how to all of these stop tabs from doing open up. Please message me and let me know. It. I would really appreciate annoying. it. But so I you want to go to your uh, iTutor portal, um, and, and I bookmarked it, so it's easy it. for me to get to. So you want to go uh, to your wait for it to iTutor load, portal, and uh, um, then you just log I in. I bookmarked it, so it's easy for You'll me to You'll get a message. You, uh, every time uh, I log in, you always load, get some kind of and, uh, message from then you iTutor. Just log in. So go ahead and just click OK to You'll that, get a you, uh, and then here's the training portal. Or not the training portal, the main portal. This is how you access everything. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do do is how to access uh, you know, how you your access ratings. Um, so the first when I first started, one of my big frustrations was how to that, you know, if you click ratings. under the consultant tab, if you click um, uh, when feedback I first started, report, one of my big it'll take you to where your ratings are, and you, know, you just you scroll click, down, the here's all the click, ratings uh, you have. Feedback you know, you have a certain amount of these ratings, and if you try to scroll down, that's all you see. So I think I was here a little bit over a month, and was like, I cannot believe in this entire down, time that I have been here, not one see. student has left so me actual written feedback. Bit over they haven't month. told me, was like, this is what I've done well, this is what I haven't I have done well. Here, I was getting, you know, tens, for example, and I'm like, okay, so what did I do good so I can keep doing it? You know, as you can see, I got a few ones, which I was like, what can I do to stop getting these ones, or what can I do to improve to be sure I don't get more ones? And if you don't know, you have to maintain a certain rating to continue to work at iTutor. Mine's no, kind of low because of things I didn't know because uh, um, this is only my second so month work uh, teaching at iTutor, um, so mine's you know I am still learning. Things There's things that I uh, I've only, only recently learned that's boosted up my ratings. So, um, in fact, you know, you know I, am still I think about midweek my rating was actually I've under a nine, which it's not supposed to be. But as you can see, since Wednesday, I started learning a bunch of stuff. Some of it I learned last week. I've really boosted my rating up to where it's at nine point two. Uh, this stuff. month, I, I, I basically week, have taught, really East, this is all Eastern Standard Time, I have taught, um, uh, I basically I, teach 5.30 in the morning until 9.30 uh, in the morning, time. Monday through I have taught, uh, Friday. Um, I basically uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then I'm sorry, Friday through, and Saturday, uh, Friday, I have been teaching, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, what is it called, uh, and in then, the evenings, um, Friday and Saturday, uh, sorry, 8.30 Friday and Saturday, in the evening until uh, 10.30 at night. Uh, what is it I'm called, changing uh, that the next evenings, month, Friday I'm actually adding Saturday, some more uh, hours, I'm getting rid of all my evening uh, hours, and I'm reducing my weekend hours to just the four minimum that you have to have. If you work for iTunes, you have to have at least four weekend hours. Or, so uh, I basically am reducing have, uh, it to just the four I have I to have, have for to a have number of reasons. Least four uh, one is hours, that so I would like some time off, and that's about the best way I can get it without. And I so yeah, I guess my way of having is to teach two hours on Saturday, two hours on Sunday. So anyway, you know what you're wanting to know that I rambled on about, or I rambled on all these tangents is how to see other ratings. No, I'm not going to access that and show you the ratings, but it says I was basically messing around how one to day, see other ratings. and no, I just accidentally clicked right here where it says search. Ratings, but I'm not going to scroll down anymore because I don't want to show uh, any clients' names, right but if you scroll down search. at this point, I'm not it'll show you every client you've taught for that month. 
what they rated um, you and what names, feedback they've you given you at this point, it'll So it's as simple as that. I could not believe how easy it was once I did it. And this was like maybe given you two or three weeks so ago when I figured that out. I could not believe how easy so it was so simple. And this was like maybe again, and if you want to find a particular student, if you're on a PC, hold control, push F, and then you just type in the name of this client you had. And it'll find PC, that right away and control, say, oh, that person left me a 10 and, and they said, uh, you know, I was the the this, this, and this. Or this client left me a 1 and said, I did this, this, and this. So it's as simple as that. If you're using an app, it's actually command So I hope that helps you. The next thing I want to show you, and before I go on, this is going to require you to change your time zone if you have them. Um, to change your time zone, it is so simple. You just go on, click here where it says you to change your time zone, if you have them. and then um, to change your time um, zone, it'll bring it this so menu up. You As you can see, I am in the U.S. Eastern time, time zone. zone, so if you do that then, every single time um, on here is your time, As you can see, I am uh, not you know, US China. You won't have this be like, okay, I'm wanting to teach at 8 o'clock, so what would that be in China? You don't have to do all that. Just change your time zone to your time zone, and all you have to worry about is what what time is it for you? You don't have to. Do um, so it's as simple as that. When daylight savings occurs, all you have to worry um, about is what time uh, is it for you. You can actually change um, it. So it's In fact, another thing that. I'll show you. I guess I'll show you four things occurs, today, not um, three. Can, I guess I'll give you a bonus you one. Can actually I'll show you how to change your MP. Your times that you sign up for. When you first started, you had to sign up for a certain amount of hours. What I'm about to show you, or next, I think it has to be submitted by the 25th, which right now it is the 24th. Where I'm at it's evening, you. so that or means next, in uh, Asian time. That is, uh, it's already right the 25th. The 24th so unless I'm mistaken, I think you cannot actually. So you know, if you submitted it, won't go into effect is, uh, until it's April. Already the 25th, so, so to change it, mistaken, you just go to the consulting tab, you know, go down to weekly session bookings. So to this will bring it, up your go to the time tab, sheets. Um, go down a weekly session bookings. You just scroll down. It'll show your. Time you know, the M's sheets. is basically um, times you've said you, you've agreed to teach for the company. Scroll down, it'll show and your, um, uh, as you can see, you know, the M's you know, is there, times there's a lot that, I've, agreed that I'm to agreeing to. That's a lot because I'm changing my and, time um, this month. As you can see, so let's say you, you know, want to change your there's times. There's a lot that, I've, um, that I'm agreeing to. Well, that's if you want to add a time, let me show you how to do that So let's say you want to change your times. The M ones you cannot access. So if you want to change them, you have to submit a session cancellation. Maybe in another video I'll show you you how to do access. that but to add a time so if you, you want just, to change like, click you a box to you want to click you know i just click Maybe 2 30 in the morning video, click submit schedule that, but to add a time, and then it's just done click if the you box want to take away a click. time you know, I it's a simple, uh, and, click, and you, it has to be a, a certain amount of time. I think done. it has to be if before 24 take hours time, in advance before your class is uh, teaching. And, and, and so, for example, right now, a, Sunday a where I'm at, if I want to get rid of that Tuesday, I just click the X, click Submit Schedule, and it's taken off. It's so simple. But again, if you want to cancel your M hours, you have to fill out a session cancellation, which that is right here. In another video, I'll show you how to do that. But uh, anyway, the other thing I was going to show that you is, right is uh, how to video, change your you to prime that. time. You just click but, uh, edit prime anyway, time. Anyway, the other thing I was going to show it'll, you it'll is open up a new, how to it'll open change up, it'll your prime basically time. reload. You just click and this is basically time. what you agree to sign up it'll, for. It'll um, open up a new, it'll open up, yeah, this it'll is what you've agreed to sign reload. up for. And um, this is basically what you agree to sign um, up for. And if you want to change it, you just click yeah, new. This is what you've agreed to sign up for. And then um, you want to type in the reason for and, your change. Um, if you want to so change you do that it, right you there click where new. the thing's now flashing. And then you and want then to type you, um, in the reason for your change. So and then you, you basically right can, you know, like I don't want to teach, flashing. for example. Um, and then you... Um, um, this is 630, for can, example. I just you know, click like, I don't that, want to teach, for and then example, if that's all I want to do, I click Submit. Now, let's say I want to add an, a time. Um, this it's as simple as clicking the spot I want to teach, and then if that's all I want to do, then I click Submit. Now, let's say I want to add a time. You don't have to do it one at a time. It's as simple as clicking the spot I want to teach. all you want to click or uncheck all you want, and you're done. And you don't have to do it one at a time. So it's as simple as that. Um, like now, as many of you know, Daylight Savings Time is coming out. So it's as simple as that. A lot of um, people have been wondering, now, how do I figure this with Daylight Savings Time? If you want to figure it out so, um, right now, and Daylight Savings Time starts the 10th, so you'll want to click the Daylight Savings Time on here. 
Um, right that'll now, change every time, time to your daylight to savings time. So, so for me, click that moves everything up on here. Now, if you see um, here, that'll change you know, every like time it to says that I start time. teaching so on a, me, what, that what is moves this, Monday at 7.30. Uh, you know, like it says at, that I start teaching on a, at 7.30 in the morning. That is my time. So yeah, I'll start teaching them. If I... But at 7 30 you know, before it's daylight savings times, after um, you do this, so make yeah, sure you click the off them. until by uh, uh, March 10th. But, so, you know, before yeah, make sure you do that. So, if you, you scroll this, back down here, sure you now it says that I that I start uh, teaching uh, at 6 30. So, so, it's as yeah, simple sure as that. And if you want to know if your application was accepted, you so click the tab where it says that. latest application, um, and if you want to know it'll if bring up uh, whether it was approved or not. If it's accepted, approved, it'll say approved, and it'll say when it starts. Like in my case, you know, I just recently turned in one. It says the effective date. If you have a hard time reading the year, first, month, and day, it'll it's basically March first, twenty nineteen, the new schedule start. So so it was approved. If it's not approved, and I did submit one a few weeks ago that was this. Approved. So um, um, it was so basically it was approved, because I wanted to get rid of all my weekend hours. I did submit uh, one. I tutor, you have to teach a minimum of four. They basically um, it was rejected because I wanted to get rid of all my weekend hours. The reason why I was I, I didn't have enough weekend hours. Four. So um, so yeah. Um, when I, anytime I've done it, and I've done it a couple times because I did it once because of that got it rejected. And it said so I added the four weekend hours that I wanted. I adjusted it and once because of that got it rejected. And then submitted it. And then five minutes. Later, it was approved. I'm not saying it will always it, happen yeah. like that for you, yeah, but at least for me so far, it's been five minutes. And then, and then five minutes a few later, days later, I started hearing daylight savings time was coming up. So I was like, oh, I need to adjust that. So I went again and did my new schedule to reflect the daylight savings time that I want to do and submitted it. Again, it was about five minutes before it was approved. So now I want to show you the third thing, which is how to access pre recorded sessions. I did not so know that these existed. The third thing, which um, I don't know why I didn't. How to maybe access did. maybe I just didn't explore sessions. the site as much as some. I did not know that these existed. But under the training um, tab, I don't know why you I didn't, click but training maybe portal. Maybe I just didn't explore um, the site as much as some. And then it opens up this know. window. But under the up training here, tab, I believe these are all like uh, just portal. different things that um, I tutor to be aware and then of. It opens up but if you scroll down to teaching your tutor group way and click go, it'll open up a new tab. But if you and you scroll click down titles, to and there's all kinds of classes you can take. Go, uh, one I highly recommend tab. is and you click uh, titles, is the use of Minicam. Um, uh, 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 some of my low ratings that I was basically pointed out is if you don't have Minicam, I highly recommend you get it. Um, uh, and also uh, get a green screen as you can. As you can when I go back to the end of the video, I will bring up the green screen I had at the beginning. But that basically allows me to, where if you look at my face, I will here, bring up that's the green basically screen allows me to do stuff like make it behind that's me transparent me to, so where if you see, look at my uh, um, basically face behind here, me and you can change your background. And, like make the uh, you know, you can upload images so onto see, your camera. So, basically, basically what the students see, you you're basically manipulating the webcam. And, uh, you and you I do plan to do it on some YouTube videos on Minicam. But, like, let's say your session is on garbage trucks. And you can, before class, you can find a a picture of a garbage truck, upload it on your Minicam, and say, hey, kids, or adults, or whatever, this is a garbage truck. Oh, that's a garbage truck. Oh, wow. So it's very useful. I recommend it. There's a lot you can do with it. Oh, that's a garbage truck. Oh, There's, you know, pre-recorded sessions. So the pros of, uh, of the pre-recorded session is that um, you know pre-recorded session is that you can view it whenever of, you uh, want. Uh, and if you, get, if you get, that, if you, there's something you don't um, understand, you can rewind it you can and watch it again. You, you can want. pause the video, and like a mini cam get, train. If you get, if you know, I did that actually first, and, um, and watch you know, there was, there were several times, you know, she would do, the lady who, uh, or I did that or whatever that led the session, she, uh, you know, was showing us how to do it. I paused it a lot. It took me, I think, an hour or so to get through that session, and I think it was only a 20 or 30 minute session, and that was because so I was pausing every few minutes to that do what she just did. That way I can follow along. So that is how you access your pre-recorded sessions. Now the fourth thing I'm going to show you is live training sessions, how to access 
so that is how you access your uh, this is something maybe sessions. I should have known but I didn't thing for whatever show you reason live training um, I thought the only live recording those. sessions they had uh, were the this two is they told maybe me to I sign up for when I started which were the reason. two orientations um, I thought that you have to take before you can start accessing things like signing up for classes and stuff so you can start teaching no that is not true there is a lot of live training sessions and to access this you just click the soul live sessions it'll open up a new tab make sure it's in your time zone access because this, everything on here will be displayed in your time sessions. zone it'll open up a um, so you don't have to worry sure about you know, taking out time zone. zones and because stuff everything like on that here will be and then you just scroll down zone. to find the one um, you, so you want don't have to worry um, some, about, you know, some I recommend that I've taken stuff like that. there's a mini and then cam one which is not if you take it live you know there's a con that you can't stop in the middle of it but there is a pro that if you have a question that you um, didn't understand, not, and this is a con that you can't stop. Uh, you can, if you have a question, there's no one to ask. But they're live ones. You know, if there's something you didn't understand or want the person to go through again, you can ask. That doesn't mean they'll be able to because they are on a time limit. I believe it's like an hour or something like that, or maybe it's 45 minutes or whatever. But yeah, if there's something you don't understand or want them to show you, they can do that on their mini cam one if they're willing to. Or if they're uh, able yeah, to. You don't understand or yeah, uh, you anyway, you another one I reckon is props. Uh, that's helped me out some. And of course, Manicam, all that yeah, stuff uh, is a form anyway, of another prop. one I recommend is props. Uh, there's a time uh, management that I, I attended. Of course, uh, Manicam, all that was pretty that helpful is a because one of the mistakes I was making was I wasn't uh, uh, time using, that I utilizing my time that well. One of the things I learned that was a common rule of thumb is to divide the time of your class. So let's say it's a 25 minute class by the number of slides. So, you know, it won't be an exact thing, you know, you want to always adjust, but, uh, you know, let's say you teach, uh, you have 12 slides at 25 minutes, that would be 25 divided by 12, which roughly comes to about two to three minutes a slide. And, you know, there's, you know, always adjust, you know, maybe you might spend a little bit more time on one, maybe one slide won't take as long, but, you know, and one thing, and I'm going to do another video on things I wish I knew while teaching. One thing I did not know is, I thought it was more important to, uh, I'm going to do a, if a client was struggling with something to spend more time on and maybe they didn't get through the lesson, you know, and they can, uh, they can take it again or something. Like the clients actually would rather you get through the lesson than to spend a bunch of time on a slide. So, um, so yeah, get through the lesson. If you're seeing the client isn't getting it, uh, my advice is to leave some notes, so, um, leave some, like if they're starting so yeah, with the pronunciation, the leave the, uh, what is it called, the syntax or the uh, pronunciation of it, notes, and move some, on to the like next slide. Um, so yeah, I wish leave I knew the, that. Uh, what is it called, um, the syntax or the pronunciation So if you want to sign up for a session, move on to the it's next as simple slide. as scrolling um, so yeah, down to the session you want to sign up for, and you just click reserve. And when you do that, it will, um, it will basically refresh your page, and if you're wondering if it actually works, you can hold and control when you do that, F or it command will, F if you're using an Apple. It will basically type in the name of the class you just signed up for. It'll it scroll work, down to where it was. F or and uh, if, it's, an if it worked, it'll say cancel. So that means it worked. If you want to cancel it, you just click and, uh, cancel. If it's, it's as if simple it worked, as that. It will say so those are the four cancel. things I wish so I knew and didn't know. I said three at first, but I guess I gave you a bonus of four. So there you go. I gave you a bonus. Didn't so anyway, you know, thank you so first, much for uh, watching this video. So um, there you go. Uh, I, yeah, and I was going to show you that bonus. green screen. So anyway, um, thank yeah, you I did so have it at the beginning, uh, but this, this is my green screen. You need this if you want to manipulate your background. Like, I'll give you an example. This is my green screen. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. I guess I'm doing a little bit of manicam here, but you click the chroma key on your manicam, and then you click, well, you have to enable it, and click background. You and then the you just uh, find a background you want. Um, you click, I'll just do the uh, other two logo. You, click you open it, and then, and, uh, you, just, uh, find a then you have you this want. little icon um, when you move it over I2 where I'm at. You just logo. click it, you open and the behind and, uh, it, it will uh, then you have get rid of it. Now you might have to click in some areas, and eventually the green stuff will go away. See how it's going away if you watch it. Be careful not to click on yourself, because if you do, 
this will um, happen. See how it's going yeah. away. You, you don't want to teach it. Be a class careful like not that. to click on. So yourself, if you do something like that, if you do, click the uh, reset happen. arrow, and everything yeah. will go back you don't to want normal. To teach a class so I guess like I even that. included a so little bit of meaning like that. So I gave you a lot of bonuses. So anyway, that's the end of my video. I got to end this before I keep going, keep going, keep going. I gave you a lot of bonuses. I do plan to do some more eventually. Anyway, that's the end of my video. I got to end this before I keep going. I'm mostly doing it because I struggled, and I'm assuming other people are struggling or have struggled and would like to know things. Because you know, maybe I'm not the only one who didn't know this stuff when I started. Maybe you're new and you don't know this as well. So I hope it helps. Maybe I'm not. Anyway, my name is Eric, and I work for iTutor. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and take care. Have fun.